John 12, 41. Tauta, apen ezaias, hati eden tein doxon autu, kai elalisen peri autu. Right above here, we read a quotation from Isaiah chapter 6, how God has blinded the people's eyes, otherwise they would turn and be healed. And now we read, these things Isaiah said, because he saw his glory, and he spoke, that is Isaiah spoke, concerning him or about him. Well, within the context, it's quite clear that this personal pronoun, Altu, is referring to to Jesus, isn't it? Jesus' glory. Isaiah spoke about Jesus. Let's look at a few things here. We have a couple of our very common irregular aorist, right? The second aorist, Apen. The second aorist, Aden. If we had Aelthon, <laughs> some form of Aelthon, the second aorist of Erechimai, we'd have the, the top three, wouldn't we? But we don't have that in here. Apen is, of course, from Lego. Lego means I say or speak. Apen is, in this case, third singular. He spoke. Isaiah spoke. So that is just a second aorist, active indicative, third person singular. From Lego, Isaiah spoke. Aden is a second aorist from Hara'o, or a few grammars will say it's from Blepo, but second aorist from Hara'o, second aorist, active indicative, third person singular again, because the subject is Isaiah, uh, because he saw. And then we have an accusative direct object. What did he see? He saw the glory, not just the glory, but the glory of him. He saw his glory. We'll look at one final verb here, elalesen, elalesen. Hopefully you recognize that as coming from laleo, to speak. Notice there is an augment there. You see the augment, you see the sigma. You know it's going to be an aorist then, right? An aorist active indicative. That's a third person singular. He spoke. Notice when you have contract verbs, right? This is a contract verb. Remember, contract verbs were the last letter of the stem is an omicron, epsilon, or alpha. And you, then you add in a tense formative of some fashion, the contract vowel will just automatically lengthen. Omicron will become omega, epsilon will become eta, alpha will become eta. That's why we have that slight change in spelling there from the lexical form.